Bonjour, today let's learn how to conjugate a third group verb in French in the passé composé, so in the past tense. Okay guys, the reason why I've chosen this lesson today is because I think it's very, very, very important for you to know how to conjugate a passé composé, a third third group verb in the passé composé. Now you're going to tell me, but what is the passé composé again? Well, the passé composé is basically when you say in English, I slept yesterday at my grandma's house or I have slept. So that means it's an action that took place in the past and is gone, done, over, with. Okay, so past tense, gone. Yesterday, I fed the cat. That was yesterday. Okay, so we're using I fed or I have fed. Now, the way you form a passé composé in French is slightly more different than the way you do it in English. In English, you have two ways. For example, I fed the cat, I have fed the cat. Okay, what we need in French is this, I have fed the cat and not I fed. So you've got to understand that every time you use a passé composé, a past tense, uh, it is used with a subject pronoun, I, auxiliary verb, have, fed, past participle, okay? And what I would like to teach you today, and not to go through every single verb and teach you how to conjugate this every single <laughs> verb into the passive composite, that will take ages, I would like to give you 25 main third group verb and show you what they look like in the passé composé. Because one thing you have to understand is that though you have the verb in the infinitive form, when you conjugate this verb in the passé composé, the past participle changes drastically for some of them, okay? So you're going to see what I mean in one minute, okay? When I mean past participle, I mean that. For example, in English, you could say, I have eaten, okay? Now, eaten is the past participle of the infinitive verb to eat, okay? So, I have eaten, okay? So, what I'm going to do is give you 25 main third grade ver irregular verbs, okay? And give you what they look like in their past participle, okay? Ou participe passé, we say in French. So, let's have a look at the first verb, okay? So, we've got aller. Aller means to go. When you put it in the past tense, it becomes je suis allé. Okay, have a look at that. Allé. Nous sommes allés. So what I'm going to do is give it to you in the singular form I, je, and the plural we, nous, to give you an idea of what, what it looks like. Okay, so je suis allé. Nous sommes allés. Here, be very careful, we are not trying to conjugate the verb to be je suis, nous sommes. Mm -mm. It's here as an auxiliary, okay? The verb we are conjugating is aller, and aller has been transformed here into past participle. Let's have a look at apprendre, to learn. J'ai appris. Nous avons appris. So suddenly, we are changing the way apprendre looks, okay? So I have learnt, we have learnt. Okay, so the past participle becomes appris. It's no longer apprendre. So don't say j'ai apprendre. Doesn't work, okay? Avoir, that means to have. J'ai eu, I have had, okay? Nous avons eu. So suddenly the past participle of avoir becomes eu. Don't ask me why. Completely different. The reason and the purpose for this exercise today is for you to have a look at what the past participle looks like, okay? Now, connaître, that means to know. Now, can you guess what connaître is in this past participle form? Well, it is connu. So, j'ai connu. So, basically, we are saying, I have known. Nous avons connu. We have known. Croire, to believe. Now, wait for this one. Croire in its past participle form becomes cru. J'ai cru. I have believed. Nous avons cru. We have believed. Devenir. To become. Now, je suis devenu. I have become. Nous sommes devenus. Okay, you will notice here that we are using the auxiliary 
to be and not to have for here. So, je suis devenu. And this is because devenir be belongs to one of those uh, verbs that are conjugated with to be in the past tense. A devoir, which means to have to, to must, must. J'ai dû, nous avons dû. Now, have a look how different this past participle is from devoir, the actual infinitive verb. Dormir, to sleep. J'ai dormi, well, that was easy. Nous avons dormi. Well, this one is quite simple. Entendre, entendre to hear. J'ai entendu. Nous avons entendu. So, I have heard, we have heard. Okay, so, entendre becomes entendu. You have some verbs ending with U quite a bit in their past participle form. You might as well learn them by heart, by the way. Être, which means to be. J'ai été, I have been. Nous avons été, we have been. Faire, to do or to make. J'ai fait, I have done or have made. Nous avons fait, we have done or we have made. Lire, to read. Now, do you know what the past participle of lire is? J'ai lu, very good, I have read. Nous avons lu, we have read. Mettre, to put or to put on, becomes j'ai mis, I have put, j'ai mis. Now have a look, M-I-S becomes, uh, is completely different from mettre, isn't it? Nous avons mis. Obtenir, to get or to obtain, j'ai obtenu, nous avons obtenu, I have obtained, I have got. Ouvrir, now this one is, but it's funny, that means to open. Now, if you want to say, I have opened, do you say, I have opened? I have opened or I have opened? I have opened. I have opened. Or I opened. Or I opened. J'ai ouvert. Nous avons ouvert. Okay. Thanks, Adam. Pouvoir, to be able to. Now, this one is odd. Super odd. Have a look at the past participle of pouvoir. It's pu. J'ai pu. I have been able to. Nous avons pu. We have been able to, we were able to. It's a very hard verb to translate this one, okay? Prendre, to take. Well, prendre is like apprendre, to learn. It is j'ai pris, P-R-I-S. Et nous avons pris, we have learned, uh, we have taken, sorry, taken. That's the word we want to translate. Répondre, j'ai répondu. And that means we have, I have answered, like a response a bit. Nous avons répondu. Savoir, to know. J'ai su. I have known. Nous avons su. We have known. Tenir, to hold. J'ai tenu. Nous avons tenu. I have held. We have held. Vendre, to sell. J'ai vendu. Nous avons vendu. So I have sold. Venir, to come. Je suis venu, I have come, nous sommes venus. So once again, this is one of the verbs that we use with the uh, to be uh, in the present tense in the passé composé form, okay? Vivre, now this one is wacky. Vivre means to live, as in I live somewhere in the house. J'ai vécu, I have lived, nous avons vécu, we have lived. Vouloir. To want, vouloir. J'ai voulu, I have wanted. Nous avons voulu, we have wanted. Okay, that's it for me for this lesson on past participle and uh, third group verb. Please have a look at the support guide on my website, learnfrenchwithalexa.com. If you want to learn more French, why don't you leave a comment and subscribe to this awesome YouTube website. Website? Channel. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous.